Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth and I'm with Twinkie TV and I am going to do a Korean drama review on one of my favorite TV series that's happening right now and it is Grandpa Over Flowers. It is one of the cutest concepts that I've seen in a really long time. It is about four older gentlemen who are the grandpas and they're very well-known Korean actors. They've been in the industry for 40 to 50 years. They're very well respected. They usually show up in the Korean dramas as the chebol, you know, head of the family, matri no, I guess patriarch. <laughs> matriarch would be the mom or the grandmother, but patriarch where he's leading a very large um, conglomeration of very ex uh, wealthy family type business dealings and so or they could be the cute adorable grandfather that's leading a family in that way so there's many different roles that they play but they're consistently in these roles and they are actually um, they've been in some dramas where they're the kings of you know historical Korean um, history in the Seguks so these Korean grandpas they're very well known very respected and what they got is a porter or a younger Korean guy to um, guide them. And the guy who's guiding them is Lee Sojin. And Lee Sojin is a huge Korean actor. So for him, at his status, to pretty much be tour guides to four older gentlemen is pretty hilarious. And the way they got Lee Sojin to agree to this trip is that they tricked him into thinking that he was going to go on a trip with Girls' Generation Sunny and I believe another girl, um, Hyuna, from one of the other girl K-pop groups. And so I think what happened was they got him to be really excited about going on a trip with these young girls and be a tour guide and he was you know flashing his dimples and he was thinking oh my gosh it's going to be the best he even got new clothes for this trip i mean he was going all out and he was telling the pr producer not pd that you know <laughs> sunny was his favorite girls generation um a girl from that pop group and how he was super excited to go on this what could be a romantic trip to Paris <laughs> um, with these two girls and how you know it'd be fun to film. Little did he know that when he went to the airport, what was waiting for him was the grandpas. And these grandpas, of course, are just very stylish, very fun, and they are very quirky themselves. So for Koreans, the hierarchical um, thing that happens is that you always kind of kowtow, although that's Chinese, you always kind of defer to the older uh, person. So, you know, the uh, older person can kind of boss you around, tell you what to do, get them the coffee, get them this, that. And so this is what they're doing to one of the top Korean actors. And um, so I think they think it's really funny. And then so Lee Sojin, or they call him Sojini, which is cute. Um, he's been kind of running ragged and trying to cater to these older gentlemen and he's just you could just see the misery on his face as he's going through this trip because he's he's taking care of them on a hundred dollars a day for each person so that's five hundred dollars for all five of them including himself and that's to do hotel accommodation travel arrangements and food and Na PD is just kind of the evil puppet master <laughs> behind the scenes where he's kind of like egging on um, the grandpas and then he'll kind of like go to Sojin and say things to him and he's just causing a lot of havoc and Na PD is very well known in the um, TV series world because he helps to bring about very fun Korean TV series and um, this one is I think one of my favorite in a very long time. I think the last one was um, Family Outing. So this one is really cute um, and the grandpas have some very interesting interesting characters because one is like so in love with his wife and he's always taking pictures for her and he's like the one that's super serious and very scary on Korean dramas. Then you've got the cute kind of teddy bear looking one named Il Sub. I think his name is Beck Il Sub, but they call him Il Subby. And 
he's kind of like the mascot because he's so round and cute and but then he's cranky he's like one of the crankier ones because i think it's his knee and he's always and it's kind of like sometimes when he's like walking around there's you know has problems with the knee and stuff and there's this whole other kind of character that he well not character but it was this other thing where he was carrying this large thing of janjorim or meat that his wife packed for him and he got really angry at it because he had to take it from Korea to Paris and like all through the subway systems and stairs and he basically just kicked it at the end and so Sojin had to go and pick it up and then bring it back to the um, hostel that they were staying at and what's interesting is that these grandpas love their soju so I think they just packed up so much soju they weren't really into wine but they were able to either pack their own soju or find soju along the way. And um, I just think it's such a cute show. I highly recommend this show. It's like, it has me kind of like laughing throughout, just seeing the reaction or non-reaction from the grandpas. And then Lee Sojin just like running himself ragged <laughs> to make them happy. And I guess that that's what makes me uh, really enjoy the show because, you know, it really goes to show that uh, treating the elder population and generation just with respect and, you know, their, their due as they've, you know, gone through a lot in their lifetime and just kind of showing their respect. And, and it's just fun. And the grandpas just know how to poke fun. And they're also trying to get Sojin to get married. But Na PD did redeem himself, I think, in Sojin's eye because in the later episodes, Sunny does show up and help to be tour guides, and all the men love her, and she um, she got she she did very well. I think that she made everybody happy, and so Sojin can't be too mad at uh, producer Na because he did get a little bit of um, Sunny in with the trip with a lot of the grandpas. So I highly recommend this. You can watch it on Hulu Plus, and I believe you could probably see it on Drama Fever, but um, it's on Hulu. Um, they are doing subs, so it's English subbed, and you have to catch it. But it's so funny that you may not need to have um, English subs on it. So hope you like this Korean review. I'll probably go back to my other format as soon as I get back to my own computers and figure out how to work those systems again, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.